our objective for today, we're going to apply the distance formula to derive and prove some geometric properties. So we have here the formulas. So the distance formula is if here d is equal to the square root of the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared where x sub 1 and y sub 1 and y x sub 2 and y sub 2 are coordinates of two points and I will also include here the midpoint formula so the midpoint formula is an ordered pair of in, in getting the midpoint formula it is just x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2 where x sub 1 and y sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 2 are coordinates of two points. So example number 1. The coordinates of A and B are negative 6, negative 3, and 6, 2 respectively. How long is A B? So this is the illustration. So in the so this is the first point A is in the third quadrant, while well, the point B is in the second quadrant. So let's try to identify the the length of line segment A B. So using the distance formula, so the distance formula is square root of x quantity x sub two minus x sub one squared plus y sub two minus y sub one squared. So before applying the formula, let's have first assign which one is x sub 1 and x sub 2, y sub 1, y sub 2, okay? So, this is my x sub 1, which is negative 6. It is always together with the y sub 1. So, that means 6 and 2 is my x sub 2 and y sub 2 respectively. Yes! Is it okay that you are going to assign 6 and 2 as your x sub 1 and y sub 1? Yes, as long as they are always together. x sub 1 and y sub 1 are always together. You cannot have x sub 1 and y sub 2 together. Okay, so I decided that negative 6 and negative 3 as x sub 1 and y sub 1 respectively. So that means the other points are x sub 2 and y sub 2. So let's substitute the given formula. So, the first one is x sub 2. The x sub 2 is 6 minus the x sub 1 is negative 6. Quantity squared plus y sub 2 is 2 minus y sub 1 is negative 3 and squared. So, let's have it step by step. So, 6 minus negative 6 that will become 6 plus 6. Then copy squared plus 2 minus negative 3 that it becomes 2 plus 3. Copy squared. What is 6 plus 6 that is 12? Copy squared plus 2 plus 3 that is 5. Copy squared. So what is 12 squared? That is 144 plus 5 squared is 25. So 144 plus 25 is 169. And squared of 169 is 13. Therefore, AB is 13 minutes long. That is now the distance between, or the, the distance from A to B is 13 minutes. How about example number 2? Determine x, y, if x is negative 4, 5, and y is 1, 2. So this is the illustration here at the right side. So we're going to determine its length or the distance between x and y. So we are going to use the distance formula and we will assign x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So I, I choose the point y as x sub 1 and y sub 1 while point x as x sub 2 and y sub 2. So let's substitute the given formula. This is now 
So x sub 2 is negative 4 minus x sub 1 is 1 squared plus y sub 2 is 5 minus 2 which is y sub 1 squared. Then simplify negative 4 minus 1 that is negative 5. 5 minus 2 that is 3 that is squared. Then x sub x y equals square root of negative 5 squared is 25 plus 3 squared that is 9. What is 25 plus 9? That is 34. So square root of 34. Square root of 34 is not a perfect square and we don't have factors which one of the factors is not is a we don't have a fact we don't have factors of 34 which one of the factors is a perfect square so we can you can have it in radical form or decimal form that is equal to 5.83 so the distance between x and y is 5.83 units for a square of 34 so let's have example number three find a distance and midpoint between two points a negative 2 5 and b negative 3 negative 7 so we have here the illustration so the distance let's solve first the distance so the distance between a and b so we will assign again x sub 2 and x sub 1 so here x sub 1 and y sub 1 are negative 2 and 5 and x sub 2 and y sub 2 is are negative 3 and negative 7 so substitute the given formula so square root of negative 3 minus negative 2 quantity squared plus negative 7 minus 5 quantity squared so negative 3 minus negative 2 that is negative 3 plus 2 that is negative 1 squared plus negative 7 minus 5 that is negative 12 squared okay can use your calculator so negative 1 squared is 1 plus negative 12 squared is 144 what is 144 plus 1? That is 145. So the answer is square root of 145 or 12.04 units. So the distance between A and B is 12.04 units. Now let's solve the midpoint. What do you mean by the what do you mean by midpoint? It is the middle point between A and B. If A is in negative 2, 5 and B is negative 3, negative 7, what is the midpoint between the two? So we have the formula of the midpoint x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So we have already assigned x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2 and y sub 2 so we will just substitute the given formula. So, the midpoint here, so x sub 1 is negative 2 plus x sub 2 is negative 3 all over 2 and y sub 1 is 5 plus y sub 2 is negative 7 all over 2 equals what is negative 2 plus negative 3 that is negative 5 all over 2 and 5 plus negative 7 that is negative 2 all over 2. So, we will just simplify negative 5 divided by 2 that is negative 2.5 and negative 2 divided by 2 that is negative 1 so a midpoint is an ordered pair okay so the midpoint is here the midpoint divides the line segment into two equal parts okay so the midpoint is negative 2 5 2.5 and negative Thank you so much for listening and I hope you, you learned something today.